Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell that says all notifications. I hope you enjoy the content I bring you and especially this compilation video. All of the auditor's links are listed under the description in this video. Please go subscribe to each one of them. They are all doing fantastic work. And don't forget to tell them News Now California sent you, and I'll see you over there in the comment section. How much? Huh? What am I here for? Just enjoying the public sidewalk, um, engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. So? Trucks and drivers distracting them and all that. Oh, I'm not yelling at anybody. I'm filming them. I'm not stopping at stop signs because every time I ride my bike here, I ride here every day. Uh -huh. Every time I ride my bike here, I either have to slam on my brakes or a truck slam on their brakes because they don't stop at a stop sign. So I'm here recording them not stopping at a stop sign. I'm going to send it to the corporate so they can know the problem and the situation with the pedestrian and safety. Uh, I'd rather not show it to you. Well, I'm asking you. You have to show it. No, no. You know, am I being detained? Well, you're resisting, so you don't show my ID. You have to. Am I being detained? Right now, yeah, because I'm And what's your reasonable crime? articulate suspicion I've committed a crime or that I'm going to commit a crime? I'm not going to debate with you. I'm not going to ask you. Listen. I'm not going to debate with you either. But I'm asking you for your ID. I and got I, all here resting up for the situation, so I'm asking you for your ID. Are you asking me or are you giving me a lawful order? Um, I'm giving you an order to give me an ID. If you don't give me an ID. Are you giving me a lawful order? Okay, you're resisting, so you're going to go to jail for resisting. Sir, I, I, will, I will assert my rights anytime I can. If I'm not being detained, you have no reasonable articulate well, suspicion. Right what's your reasonable articulate suspicion I've committed a crime or that I'm going to commit a crime? Simple, no sir. Know my rights. Know your rights. Yes, sir. And right now, I plead the Fifth Amendment. And I refuse to answer any more questions. Nothing else to say to you. Okay. And I am being detained, correct? Is that what you're saying? I will be filing a complaint for unlawful detainment. You have nothing else to say to me, right? Why are you talking? Are you detaining me? Are you? Are you? Are you talking am I being detained? Are you going to answer my question? Am I being detained? If I'm not being detained, I'm going to leave. Am I being detained? <laughs> Oh, so, I, so I'm not being detained. Then I'll stay right here and film. You should read the Constitution. You ever read the First Amendment? Hey, let me stand here and find what's going on. And you ever read the First Amendment? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Well, what's your name? I need you. So, need you, so, so, so you want my ID? I do. For no apparent reason. Yo, you hear that? He just ran up on me. He asked me for my ID. I don't understand that. What's your name again? What's your rank? Let me see your ID. Betson Court. Mm -hmm. 1999. Yeah, he wants my ID. Like, I don't understand that. Like this, this ain't a this ain't a state where you have to show your ID when when upon request. There's no injured party. There's no. I don't understand that. I don't get that. I have a right to privacy too, don't I? Can I go now? No, you're not going anywhere. So I can't go. No, so I'm being detained. I'm legally not. being detained, is what right you're telling now. me. Yes. You can see your ID. Okay. So I can identify. I'm not showing you my ID. I haven't done anything wrong. This is America, right? Yeah. Okay. You still have to show an ID. No. He wants my ID for no for no apparent reason. I'm not showing you my ID, so I don't know what to tell you. I would like to be free to go now. No, you're not free to go. You're still right here. I'm not free to go. No. I have things I have to do. So do I. You wonder what Mr. Fine you are. You don't have to find out who I am. I have a right to privacy. I haven't committed a crime. Have I committed a crime? No, I won't. Have I committed that. a crime? I won't be able to determine that until I find out who you are. Have I committed a crime? What makes you suspect that I've committed a crime? You have to su su suspect me of committing a crime, right? Okay, where are you parked? Excuse me? Where are you parked? I'm not talking. Yeah. I don't wish to, uh, I wish to remain silent. Okay. All right, go ahead. You free to go? See you. All right, he said I'm free to go, guys. You heard that? Hey, how's it going? Anything else? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
right. Is there if I come a little closer? I can't hear because the wind. I'm not going to come. Close. All that they were asking, they can't come out of the gate. All that they were asking is that you guys stay 30 feet from it. I don't have a tape measure. I'm not going to. Would we assume out, this white line right here is yeah. good? Yeah, it's not. I don't know. No, I don't work in a military base. I'm not in the military. Yep. I can't say yes or no. But so there's no state. Just, just for an example, the fence runs up along the uh, the road right here. Mm -hmm. That would mean that I would that no one could drive on that road because 30 feet from the fence right there extends all the way across the road. Okay. okay. What, I, what I'm saying is that their jurisdiction is from this entrance gate 30 feet out. That's what I was told. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> that, that's fine. They can come okay. arrest me then. Um. Uh, they weren't talking about arresting anybody. Okay, because, yeah, it's, um, it's They do want to write an incident report for you guys being out here. Yeah. Their records, their supervisors requesting a report. Awesome. Would you guys be willing to give your information? Uh, will you give me your social security number? No. That's I my answer then as well. Social security number, that's what's your name, but that's fine. Have a good night. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time here. All right. The eighth, also, thank you for respecting the Constitution and the right to film. I appreciate that. Join the fair weather for December. <laughs> so, so, blue line supporter, cop sucker. There's another blue line. Here's another blue line, cop sucker. Let's get these tags here. M-E-H-T. Oh, he's definitely a cop sucker. Look at that plate. Vanity plate with a Punisher blue line. Wow, he's really going overboard now. Yeah. It's like one of those cars with all the bumper stickers on the back. Yeah. Yeah, the peace and equality and we love dogs and peanut yeah. butter. <laughs> Humanitarian rights. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Protect dictators. <laughs> this one's JRQ R27. So. Oh shit, I think my 360 camera was on for a while. <laughs> I totally forgot to turn it off. And battery's dead on it. Got here, got a view into the into the locale. Yeah, there's drug collection boxes. Are you gonna do a public records request for the needles? For the needle Request for the needle drop. Oh, the the box. Yeah. Yeah, I want to inspect everything that's in that drug collection box, and I want their collection and disposal workers over the last fiscal year. I've always wondered about. Hey, how's it going? Good. Okay, you guys with anything? What's your name? Officer Stearns, right here. Okay, your badge number? Oh, Stearns, right here. Is there a hyphen? Look at my badge, right? Here. My name tag, right here. What can I help you guys I'm with? I'm looking at it, but it's all worn. It's all worn down. S T U R M S. Stearns. Yes. Can and I help you guys with anything? Yes. Yeah. What was your badge number? Five thirty-nine. Is there anything I can help you guys with? I was wondering if I could possibly see that display case that you guys have in there. It's uh, has some awards. It looks like I was. It's locked from this facility. From right there for uh, for citizens and everything like that. So that well, yeah, I know that's locked. that's why I was wondering if there was someone that could show it to me. Obviously, if it wasn't locked, I wouldn't need someone to show it to me, right? Okay. Can I ask why? Well, it's got this, it's a display case. It's got trophies and stuff like that, and I'm doing a story, 
and the Pinellas Park PD. So, okay. What's your story about? Well, it's an investigative piece, so I don't want to tip my hand, but uh, you guys okay. know about investigations. You can't give out any information, but Absolutely. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, to, to just look at it. I saw it through the window there, and then I walked up to the door, and I could see it a little bit too, but I would think any kind of display like that, they would want out for the public to see uh, any kind of achievements or awards they'd have. At least most police departments, this lobby is pretty small. It is a pretty small building. Yeah. It is pretty small. Um, also, we were wondering if we could uh, inspect the contents of the drug box and also get the records for the disposal of the, uh, so the they, drug they box. So they can pull reports for you for, um, if anyone's there today, the crime see. prevention officer does um, Operation Medicine Cabinet. So that way any leftover drugs, excess, you know, pills, stuff like that are properly disposed of. Is he the so one that handles the disposal of them? Or? Most of the time it is. Okay. Uh, however, the community redevelopment officers also do that too. So you can... Do you guys like throw them in the furnace or... I have no idea how they're destroyed. They go to the to the sheriff's office. See, that's what we're wondering. So. Okay. All of our property and evidence, whether it's for destruction, um, property, anything like that, it goes to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office property and evidence section. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, but they'd be able to. Can we help you? No, she was helping us. Okay, is there anything more I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I still need the reports. So. He wants to pull reports for the Operation Medicine Cabinet to know how things are destroyed. Yeah, I want to uh, just see the. Disposed of. Yeah, the exposed. Uh, you know, when you get rid of them, I want to get the report from the last year. Okay. And what what, what was it? A, have you made a request? I, I, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I we'll just. Stuff for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just for the last year, whatever was collected and disposed of. Okay. You just need to get a records request to get the report that shows how it was done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was there anything else besides that? Do you have uh, the case number? No, I want the. Each month you guys collect stuff. I'm sure you document what you collect. Right? I want that report for the last year, each month for the last year. What was collected in the in the drug box? Fifteen oh. bottles of oxycodone, one dirty needle, six bottles of... So you want a list of everything we've collected from the medicine collection? Medicine. Right, right. Every month for the last year. Correct. There's a lot of police here. Is there no crime going on? 